It's high time for this rhino to bust out of the iceberg because we have some mind-bending facts to talk about. What happened in your dream? Food eats people! Also? Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, these four elements brought us one of the most outstanding and ambitious Asian-inspired animated show on Earth. Avatar The Last Airbender is a cultural marvel like no other. With the recent live-action adaptation near completion, we figured it would be the appropriate time to hop on our air bisons in search of some knowledge-quenching fun facts about our favorite banders. To kick off things harder than a pro bender, did you know that most of, if not all, bending styles in the show are based on real-life martial arts? The creators of Avatar decided to ask for Chinese martial arts master Kisu's help as a consultant on the show resulting in Bagua, Tai Chi, Northern Shaolin, and Hunga becoming the inspirations for air, water, fire, and earth, respectively. The reasons for this are quite clever. Bagua is suitable for air, as both feature complex footwork and recoiling of the body and limbs. Tai Chi is gentle and harmonious, yet produces incredible damage like water. Northern Shaolin, much like fire, is hyper-energetic, aggressive, and acrobatic. Earth, meanwhile, shares the strong stances and grappling of Hunga. In addition to this, the real-life parallels don't end there. Each of the four nations in the show is based on a respective ethnicity or country. The Water Tribe is based on the Yupix and Inuit, people who live in the cold Arctic climate and are very focused on family dynamics. On the other hand, Fire Nation residents resemble those of Imperial Japan during World War II, since the country was known for its aggressive war campaigns and beliefs regarding honor. The Fire Nation's main rival, the Earth Kingdom, is similar to the Ming and Qin Chinese dynasties in terms of clothing, architecture, and how it imitates the same rivalry between China and Japan in real life. Air nomads, being peaceful and heavily spiritual, are naturally based on Tibetan monks. However, some aspects of their beliefs and practices are taken from Hinduism and Buddhism, their shaved heads, orange clothing, and their vegetarianism among other elements. The primary method of determining who will be the avatar is similar to how monks find the Dalai Lama, by letting the air nomad children choose a toy like how the Lama would pick items that were significant to him in his previous life. That's not all, Bending fans. The real-life inspirations don't just boil down to fighting styles in the countries. Azula, the fan-favorite wicked princess and secondary antagonist of the show, has a name that's oddly similar to Azul, which is Spanish and Portuguese for the color blue. Coincidentally, the same color as her unique blue fire and lightning bending techniques. While perhaps a coincidence, we also noticed a strong parallel to the Hindu term for demon, Asura. We can't say it isn't appropriate. Meanwhile, our lovable goofball Sokka has his name taken from the Japanese phrase Sokka, meaning I understand or I see, possibly referencing his character development as the strategist or the planner of the team. Most other characters have names that are combinations or blends of Chinese characters, such as our main character Ang, whose name is literally taken from An meaning peace, quiet, and Ang meaning raise, lift. Top's last name, Bei Fong, is similar to the word for north, Bei Fan. Katara and Zuko are exceptions to this, as their names are most likely taken from Arabic and Zulu coaches. Katara is quite fittingly water droplet in Arabic, while Zuko is the word for glory in the Zulu language. While there's little doubt for the origin of Katara's name, Zuku is more unclear, as the word appears in many other cultures and languages as well, meaning things like Awakened, Scarlet, Reason, and many others. Are your chi levels balanced after all of this trivia? We think you've got the gist of where most of Avatar's real-life parallels come from, but did you know that many other animated films and shows also helped in forming a lot of the building blocks and ideas for The Last Airbender, along with its sequel The Legend of Korra? Studio Ghibli films like Princess Mononoke and My Neighbor Totoro inspired many of Avatar's creatures like Anne's trusty air bison Appa or Korra's loyal polar bear dog hybrid Naga. There's also the action choreography and fighting scenes, which are influenced heavily by pop cultural hits like Cowboy Bebop and Fully Cooley. We hope you enjoyed this journey, nomads and kingdom residents. What's your favorite or least known real-life influence found in the franchise? Be sure to share your thoughts with us in the comment section and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're interested in more awesome facts related to popular western shows, anime or various other media.